Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, back here on the boat that I was showing you guys on my previous video on how to do a descale. And uh, the reason why I was doing a descale on the boat is because I was going to install a clear line. So I wanted to show you guys how uh, a clear line uh, growth inhibitor system works uh, and how it's installed. So let me show you. Okay, so that right there is the cell. This is where the chlorine, it's uh, it's made or yeah made, uh, and then uh, let me show you back again. So remember, if you didn't see the other video, I'll show you. This is the seacock. This is where the seawater comes into the boat. Comes in here, comes into the sea strainer, out to the pump. So now what we do when we install uh, one of those clear line systems uh, on the boat is we go from the discharge of the pump into our cell that's the cell right there like I mentioned before and then it comes out of the cell and it follows the hose out this black hose right here back to the AC right there okay so it goes through the AC again just like the D scale goes through the AC this is the chiller it goes through the chiller and then it goes overboard and that's it, simple. Uh, the system consists of a cell, which is this one right here. This is a flow meter. Oh, oh and I forgot to mention then, from after the cell, we get some of the uh, product made here, and we backfeed it. You see this little black line right here? And I backfeed it to the bottom right here of this T. That way we can help keep the cyst trainer clean a lot longer sometimes months uh i got the ac off right now so i could uh record a video and uh because this this pump over here is noisy noisy as hell so uh show you that's the cell the cell flow meter and then you got the controller right here this is what the controller looks like let me take this little plastic off that's what the controller looks like. Uh, there's this clear line. Uh, right now there's uh, no flow because everything is off right now. I'm gonna go turn it on and, sh and show you how it looks like. It says that it's off because it turns off automatically when the pump, when the flow stops. So when the, every time the pump stops, when the chiller, when the chiller is satisfied and satisfied and it doesn't need to uh, work or cool the water anymore, any longer it shuts off. It shuts the seawater pump with it and then the clear line stops so it's not producing or, or doing anything when there is no water flow and uh, it says they're off of course because uh, like I said there's a little switch down here and this is an on off switch for it you see now it's, it's off completely turn it back on and this is how it starts it goes through that little startup process it beeps and it goes back to that one screen that i showed you before down here it has a power light cleaning which you're gonna see uh light up when uh, when i go back when i go upstairs and turn on the ac and then the cell light which is tells you if there's a, a a possible issue with the with the cell and on the side over here there's a little pop-up breaker to protect it protect the the circuit okay so that's that the panel the cell this cell by the way you could wall mount it like I did here or you can floor mount it kind of like that C strainer right there uh, I just prefer to uh, on this install uh, I believe it's cleaner it was clean it was gonna be cleaner a cleaner install if I did it on the wall which I think it came out pretty good right there on the wall out of the way so yeah, so you can uh, wall mount it or floor mount it, depending on, uh, on how your boat and the space that you have. Okay, now let me go upstairs. I'm gonna turn on the AC, the AC, cause it's the only one. I'm gonna turn the AC on and then, um, and then I'll come downstairs and I'll show you how the screen looks when it's working. It's gonna be a little noisier once I get down here uh, because of that chill water pump and the chiller running and whatnot, okay? Stay tuned. 
Okay, so this is how it looks like when you first start the system up. You're gonna see uh, that startup right here blinking for a little bit uh, while they, it gets ready, I guess, to do its thing. But then from startup, it's gonna go into cleaning mode. Right now we're getting 11 gallons per minute. It was running at 16 gallons per minute earlier, so uh, 11 is still good. Uh, it all depends. That's also a good uh, troubleshooting tool for your AC system. Uh, the, the gallons per minute reading, because once you get used to see your system working at certain gallons per minute, you know that that's where your system should be working. So when it stops or your uh, water flow drops, uh, you, you know there's a problem somewhere. So you got, it's time to check the, you know, there's time to check the sea strainer. Maybe you uh, sucked up a bag into the system or whatnot. There you go. Now we got the cleaning blinking. It went up to 12 gallons per minute. Like I said, it was working at about 16 before it shut off, before I shut it off. So, but 12, 12 to 16, that, that's, that's normal. That's, that's pretty good for this size system. Uh, this is the Clearline 430 CL, or CL430, I always forget which one goes first. But that's it. Uh, the boat is a Vison 58, 58 Vison, which is <laughs> amazing to install things down here. Look at all the, all the room that we got down here. The engine room is way up there. We got all this room in here. Uh, the chiller is right back there. So the install was uh, pretty sweet. I'm gonna ins install a uh, water maker here. So I'm gonna make a video of that install just because we got so much room. I can set the cameras anywhere and, uh, and record. But uh, a, dual, a, a, a dual system right here is gonna be a fresh water and salt water RO. And um, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put it in. We got the room for it right there where all that stuff is. And then uh, I'll show you guys how that goes and how that install uh, goes. Huh? That's, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you that uh, about the clear line because I don't know, the, the clear line hasn't been around for a very long time. I think it's gonna be two years now or a little over two years or whatnot. So um, it's still pretty new out here. Uh, I've been installing a bunch of them. People, captains, crew, loved it. They love it. Um, keeps your sea strainer, which is the one thing that you can actually see. Your sea strainer stays clean a lot longer than without it. And no more descales. Your lines, your seawater lines, stay pretty clean uh, all the time. So, nothing but good things, good reviews coming out of the, coming back from the field on all, all the boats that we've, we've done it before. Actually, this boat, the owners of this boat, this is the second clear line that we do on their boats. They got another, they got a Viking 55 and we did a, we did an install on their Viking. Okay, so that's it for it, for today. I'll uh, show you that video when I, when I do the, the water maker. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, uh, help me out, support. So I don't feel like I'm doing, I don't feel like a fool doing, making videos and whatnot in any rooms. Okay, thank you.